Welcome to TradeGameGuy.com. This is John. This report is for the 16th, and well, it's a few-day chart of a case for one here, and we can see how you know, it came out of rise. We had the nice little sell signal that turned around, right, and we ended up with the proper configuration from the plus 13 there. We ended up with the nice little down run, and then it perked up a little bit, but we got back into this weakness, and we ended up with a similar kind of uh, steel spike right there, and that was. Not overbought, didn't get overbought until part way into it. That led to the new move up when we expand this one. We can just sort of see it clear as we get into the old paper money. Still having an issue with that uh, one side of the program. Now, rising shakeout has been continuing. Uh, we've got short term, mid term buyers all rising, so that's creating a nice little lift. Um, Overall, not a bad configuration. It's just that the steel has to continue higher. Otherwise, um, you're still in that same much considered variation. You have to get plus 13.5 for the steel to have it uh, effectively from a from a tubular stance coming up from the bottom. And so it's not quite there yet. But we're just sort of caught in sideways with a uh, short bias, even though we've got a recent of all the way higher. NQ outperforming certainly at this top end of things. And then the dial was behind, so as you can see, it's not back to the highs like the RBC and MQ uh, schematic. That definitely still uh, the lead performer in this market. They are going to almost nowhere. Uh, the one QLP talked about this a while back, but it's just nowhere to go for it. Yeah, GLD likewise. No fears of inflation at this particular point. Oil uh, going to be one of those, like I said, just back and forth lows because. Supply alterations can change things dramatically. This was the difficulty I was having in the program setup right here. We ended up with a long configuration on this, but then it got into our little area where it has difficulty recognizing the transition. Uh, this is what I've been working on all day. Didn't get very far. Um, clearly, as we can see, that it's still uh, doing this, but we were at this uh, rising shakeout with well above the uh, 15, so it was going to require uh, power for me. We actually did have the right signal right here when we moved above, um, but immediately went from that all the way straight down, and then we ended up with um, sign dipping below the red right here. So, you know, they would have had the short, it would have flipped around, it would have been in neutral, so still would have been green in our general construct of you know, what we are expecting to turn this into. And then we would have just had the green rising cloud here, of course, at this particular point. We should have had uh, the short setup a little back here. We ended up with 22 point and um, steel well above eight. So I'm going to have to look at what happened with the anomaly. And it's typically because it's getting into this section where it's not reading the mid 70s correctly. And so um, working on that one. We'll get it solved. But for now, the market's just in its. Uh, a little muck face, so we're not too concerned about it overall, but it's definitely worth uh, continuing to address it. And as soon as I get it solved, you'll be the first to have it. But uh, still, overall, this dividend is going to follow a trend like this, in particular case, if you come up to here, it goes short. You have a little red section around here, you turn green, and then you're back in the run before it just short is back up here uh, on that signal. So we're over the 20, and then that's a little bit here we could be. Right here, and then turned orange, which is the correct way to go. Um, but you should escape that during that uh, configuration. Anyway, that's the state of affairs. It's uh, back and forth, really choppy, uh, a lot of action, uh, responsibility trends on this. So, nothing to complain about, but we'll keep at it. As always, trade well.